Hi, my name is Katie Kearns and I'm a sixth grade language arts teacher at Norwayne Middle School. And I wanna thank you for putting on this contest for Ohio Principals. And I wanna tell you um, a little bit about my incredible principal. We like to think of him as our incredible Hulk, Kevin Leatherman. Angry parents, frustrated teachers, disengaged students, not at our school. In a time when education has been uprooted and flipped upside down, our school, Norwayne Middle School, has risen to the occasion doing our part to provide high quality education to both in-person and online learners in our district. We owe our success to our incredible leader, our unstoppable principal, Kevin Leatherman. As a sixth grade language arts teacher, I was worried, anxious, and kind of dreading the start of the school year. I wanted to get back into the classroom, of course, but I was fearful that the restrictions of everyone wearing masks, social distancing, and no group work would limit the connections I would make with students. I was fretting over the additional work of managing an online classroom along with an in-person one. I felt stressed before we even got started, but our principal, Kevin Leatherman, was proactive. He made it so we had extra time to prepare by pushing back our start date with in-person students. He gave us additional training in the online curriculum so that we didn't have to learn the new system by ourselves on our own time. We could do it together as a building. He went above and beyond to unite our staff which was a huge feat in and of itself during this highly divisive time. Our goal for the school year was to have a positive impact on students each day and do the best we can with what we have to work with. He believed we could do this and we believed in him. Once we were back in the building and I was able to see the great lengths Kevin Leatherman took to ensure not only a safe reopening, but a safe stay open plan, my mind was at ease. The worry and anxiety from a summer of not knowing was erased. From the safety precautions and procedures we were putting in place to the extra time we as teachers would be given during the school day to take care of the remote learners and the effort Kevin took to make sure each student and teacher would have a computer and the resources they needed, all worry and doubt were gone. He made sure we would have all that we needed. I wanted to be back in the classroom, wanted to be teaching, wanted to have the students in front of me growing as readers and writers and as human beings and Kevin Leatherman made that possible in the most stress-free way he could. This school year has been one that we won't forget because we've had to rethink almost everything we have known about teaching and kids and education, but it has been a positive learning experience for our building, not the horror stories I've heard from other teachers in other buildings. And it's because of the great leadership of Kevin Leatherman. He spent his entire summer planning, preparing, covering every what if and now what that he could think of to make sure the start of our school year didn't reflect the ending we had in the spring. His leadership, his fortitude, his love and dedication for his students, his teachers, and his profession set him so far above all other principals. And in my opinion, he is the reason I am smiling as a teacher today instead of crying. He is the reason I wake up every morning excited to teach instead of rethinking my career choice. Kevin is the fifth principal I've worked for and he is by far the best. He's the only one that hasn't let me settle on just being a good teacher. He challenges me and fuels a passion for education inside of me that pushes me to continually strive to be the best teacher I can possibly be, encourages me to reflect on what I do in the classroom to make sure I'm doing what's best for kids, not just what's best for me. This year, his mantra has been above the line thinking, a mindset that incorporates the E plus R equals O concept where we know that we do not control the events that occur around us. Our response to those events are our choice, and we earn the outcome by the quality of our responses. The better our response, the better our outcome. The better the outcome, the better the experience for others around us. He has modeled this attitude this year. He has preached its importance, and this way of thinking has motivated our staff to kick out the crutch so there are no excuses. We may not always agree with every decision that he makes, but we respect them because we know that he is thoughtful, careful and wise in his responses to the events our building faces. This has not been an easy year by any stretch of the imagination. There have been a lot of challenges, but he has made it worth it. He has inspired us through his own excitement and perseverance to keep moving forward together. He makes working at Norway Middle School fun, finding the balance between being our boss and being our friend, leveling out his serious take charge attitude with glimmers of his ornery personality keeping us on our toes, making us laugh. He loves to joke around, have fun, pull pranks, and has a calming persona that makes people want to be around him. 
Even if you enter his office upset or in trouble, you will leave his office happy with a solution you can work with. He gets giddy when he has a great idea, and it's so contagious that it compels others to follow him. Like our staff dressing up this year as Ghostbusters for Halloween and securing the ambulance from the movie to adorn our school's front lawn. He is doing all he can this year to make us run as close to business as usual as he can. And his playful nature extends to the students as he participates in activities like Red Ribbon Week, where he dressed up like the Incredible Hulk his favorite superhero, and surprised his middle school students with his impersonation of the iconic character. There's a video at the end. To being an entertaining announcer for our middle school's annual Washington, D.C. trip fundraiser, where he's on the mic, when he's on the mic, be ready to laugh. He boosts our morale when we're down, lifting us up to be the very best versions of the teachers we want to be. Kevin Leatherman is the reason students are returning to in-person learning, meeting all students with a smile and letting them know he is there to take care of them reassuring parents that their students will be safe in his care, and rewarding students with special treats and bobcat bucks, a system that promotes the good attendance and grades in the old in-school suspension room he renovated. He has truly thought of it all when it comes to providing students with a safe, engaging, and fun environment, and believes that we all have a chance to make an impact on a child's life and teach them something daily. Kevin Leatherman is a problem solver, seeking out solutions that are innovative and creative. I truly feel there isn't a challenge he can't figure an answer out for. Give him the challenge of social, social distancing in the middle school that thrives on social interaction, and he'll rework the schedule to stagger lunches and release students from classes in limited ways so that large groups are in the hallways at the same time, as well as limiting cross-grade level mingling to decrease unnecessary exposure. He'll put painters tape down the center of our hallways to create walking lanes with arrows to keep traffic moving and moving safely. Given the problem of students having to wear masks, and he'll make sure that students are given two with a lanyard to keep from losing them. And plexiglass to provide shields around desks so that students can get mask breaks and be extra protected while in the classroom. Given the problem of not being able to share supplies, and he'll make sure that each student and teacher has access to a computer, both in class and at home, given the problem of some students not being able to attend, attend in-person classes, and he will seek out a high quality online curriculum and provide training for teachers, parents, and students, ensuring that all students, whether in-person or at home, know they are a part of our Bobcat family. And this problem solving hasn't been reserved for the COVID school year. The teacher workroom needed a sink and he personally installed one over a summer break. Building security was an issue, and he designed and installed an entryway that after being buzzed into our school, guests were led straight into the office instead of giving them access to our entire building, ensuring the safety of staff and students. When looking for ways to promote pride in our school, he designed an inviting wall to greet students, parents, and guests into our office. Our STEAM program was growing, and we needed more room for tinker spaces and materials. Kevin personally renovated our wood shop to incorporate more space for 3D printers and drawers for supplies. His efforts in providing the best for our students were recognized last year as our building was designated a blue ribbon school, um, indicating excellence in a multitude of categories, all a result of the leadership and environment cultivated by Kevin Leatherman. Many said we wouldn't make it past Labor Day, and we did. Others said our county fair would do us in, but it didn't. Challenge after challenge, we have met them and overcome them through increased sanitation and teamwork. Our students are thriving, thankful to be back in school. Through extra planning time and additional compensation for our efforts, our teachers are prepared and organized, thankful for his leadership. Through regular communication, flexibility, and the freedom to choose what is best for their children, our parents are grateful for the top-notch education and teaching staff our middle school provides, thankful for his determination. Give us a problem, and our answer is Kevin Leatherman, our leader, our superhero, our incredible Hulk, busting through the obstacles, excuse me, with his out of the box thinking to do what's best for our students, our school, and our community. It is with greatest pleasure that I write this letter entering Kevin Leatherman into consideration for your contest. Thank you for your time, um, and here is our incredible Hulk.